now let us learn about the third part of an alimentary canal that is stomach so stomach is nothing but it is a muscular organ which expands when food enters into it okay so it's very very important organ in the process of digestion in human so let us study what actually happens to the bolus when this enters into the stomach okay the inner lining of the stomach this is called inner lining of the stomach this is called inner lining of the stomach the inner lining of the stomach is going to have gastric glands let i show you the picture of uh, spelling of gastric glands here this is the spelling of gastric glands so gastric gland is present in the inner wall of the stomach this gastric gland is going to release three things what are those one is hydrochloric acid you all know the chemical form of hydrochloric acid is hcl and another is another is a protein digestive enzyme called pepsin pepsin and lastly a gastric gland is going to secrete mucus so these are the three things released by the gastric glands which are present in the inner wall of the stomach now let us study what are all the uh, roles of this hydrochloric acid pepsin and mucus what is the role of this hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid will creates an acidic medium see the food that is the bolus which enters into the stomach will stays to 2 to or 4 to 4 hours in the stomach for the process of digestion takes place so this hydrochloric acid what it will do means it will convert the bolus into an acidic one it will convert the bolus into an acidic one why a food should be converted into an acidic one means if it is converted into an acidic one only a enzyme called pepsin can work an enzyme called pepsin can work on the bolus or it can reacts with the bolus so in order to Uh, what is that in order to facilitate the action of enzyme pepsin on the bolus a uh, hydrochloric acid reacts with the food or it creates an acidic medium in the food okay so what is then that pepsin does that pepsin what it will do is means it will digest the protein whenever whatever the food we eat if that food is made up of some protein what it will do means it will digest the protein it will convert the protein into the simpler form that is what the role of pepsin a uh, pepsin is also called as protein digestive enzyme so thirdly we have mucus what is the role of this mucus means a very very important important role because this mucus will protects the inner lining of the stomach why the mucus has to protects the inner lining of the stomach means as i said earlier hydrochloric acid reacts with the bolus and it creates an acidic medium this acidic medium should not reacts with the inner lining of the stomach under the normal conditions if it reacts what happens means we can feel some burning sensation in the stomach so in order to prevent that what happens means the mucus which is secreted from the gastric glands will be uh, protects the wall like this will protects the wall like this so that the food the bolus food which is acidic one will not reacts with the stomach if it not reacts with the stomach we won't be getting a burning sensation then even though if you ask some elders or any other they may feel that uh, uh, some acidity is created in my stomach they might be saying no some friends or anybody would have said that some acidity i can feel some burning sensation in my stomach when i eat something when i drink some coffee they may see what is that means what is the reason for that means the mucus secretion will be very very less for them if there is no secretion of mucus what happens the easily the bolus that is the acidic bolus the acidic food will easily reacts with the inner wall of the stomach and create some burning sensation in the stomach so if mucus is not released from the gastric gland it leads to acidity it leads to acidity so what happens means it leads to acidity so some doctors will suggest uh, to have some anti acids okay they uh, suggest some anti acids to have so that mucus secretion will take place in a proper amount that and all we will be studying later on so that's what uh, the three role of the um, gastric gland secreted by the gastric gland that is hydrochloric acid pepsin and mucus 
this is what takes place in the stomach after that uh, the after the process of digestion takes place in the stomach a small amounts of food will be released into the next alimentary canal that is small intestine this is what small intestine next the food enters into the small intestine a small amount of food enters into the small intestine so in the next video we will be learning what is the uh, role of the small intestine in the process of digestion